Israel says it has now set a date for an invasion of the city of Rafah, despite strong objections from the United States. Palestinians are returning to scenes of destruction in areas where Israeli troops have pulled out for now. As Holly Williams reports, many are finding there's hardly anything left of their homes. Most Israeli forces have now left southern Gaza, and thousands of Palestinians are moving around freely for the first time in months. For some, that's meant a homecoming to the city of Han Yunus. But in their once bustling communities, they found a wasteland. Half a year of war has brought destruction on a colossal scale to Gaza and an unending descent into despair. Malak Mahmoud showed CBS News producer Marwan Al Ghul the ruins of what was her home. I can't find anything, she said. I lost my books and all of my belongings. Israel's military says it now has no operational forces in southern Gaza and just one division inside the Gaza Strip. The other division that was there moved out over the weekend. The remaining troops are positioned along Gaza's border with Israel and to the north, where the Israelis have built a new road cutting across the Gaza Strip from east to west, thought to be part of Israel's planning for after the war. The military says the troops who've pulled out are recuperating and preparing for future missions. And despite US opposition, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Israel's now set a date for an offensive in the southern city of Rafa, where around one and a half million people are sheltering. That date, though, is unspecified. The US says there's a ceasefire deal on the table for Hamas. But a spokesman for Hamas told CBS News the latest negotiations in Cairo over the weekend were a, quote, setback. Gail? Oh, that's tough to hear. Thank you very much, Holly.